It's funny how attraction works. It's funny how women think about it. It's funny how men think about it. It's, uh, it's complicated. And the reason why is because we don't really know why we like the person that we like. Maybe it's the same sex, maybe it's the opposite sex, whatever the case may be. It's tough for us to really understand. And it's even more tough for a woman to understand why she likes a guy because a lot of the reasons why a woman likes a man is mostly based on personality because personality is something that's harder to fake. So that's something that weighs heavier in terms of attraction. So it gets pretty complicated. So that's why I wanted to make a video based on some of the things that a woman wants from a guy, uh, something that a woman is attracted to from a guy, but she won't admit mainly because she doesn't really understand it herself. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because this is gonna help you get inside of a woman's head. And when you can do that, it's gonna help you build attraction with the woman that you're with. Again, whether you want that for casual relationships, you want a girlfriend, whatever it may be. But this is gonna help you understand women a lot more. So this is gonna be interesting, and I think we should just get right into it and dive in. The first thing that a girl wants from you, again, this is like subconsciously, that's why I'm laughing here. What she wants from you is for you to ignore her and be completely busy. Now she might say that she doesn't want that. She might say she wants attention from you and maybe even she is craving attention from you, but really deep down, she doesn't want that because in order for her to be attracted to a guy, to see a guy as high value, she, he does ignore her to some level and it's always due to him being busy and doing something. So of course you can hack this and you can do this to play games, or you can actually be a guy who's gonna be busy not responding back to her text messages and not be so available all the time. But just understand that if you are putting them to the side a little bit and not giving them all the attention in the world, it's gonna make you look non-needy, non-desperate, and that's actually what's gonna be more attractive to her. And of course, she can't admit this because it's very hard to understand that this is actually what's making her more attracted to a guy. Here's another complicated one. Now, we're talking about jealousy for a second. So jealousy, she wants you to be jealous. So she might say that in her head even. She might say like, yeah, like I want him to be a little bit jealous. I want him to show jealousy. But deep down inside, she actually doesn't want that. Meaning, when you don't show jealousy, so if you're in a relationship, you're dating someone, if you don't show jealousy, she will become more attracted to you. So deep down, that's not actually what she wants. So what does this look like? This means that you're not gonna ask her about what guy friend she's hanging out with. You're not gonna ask her if she's been getting hit on at the bars, if she's out and about. You're not gonna be talking about anything that's gonna make you look remotely jealous. That's going to drive her a little crazy, even though she says in her head, like, yeah, I want him to be jealous. But deep, deep down, she doesn't because again, that's what makes her attracted. See the pattern here? All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is you having girlfriends. I don't mean necessarily girls that you're dating, although that is kind of true too, but really we're talking about you having girls that are friends. Now, she won't admit this, right? She won't admit it out loud and say like, oh yeah, no, I don't want him to have that. But deep down, she actually does because that's what makes her attracted. When you show that you have girls that you're hanging out with and girls that are part of your social circle, girls that you might be nice to, girls that, you, that you're totally cool with, this is going to make her a little bit jealous. But most importantly, what this is doing is this is showing her that you can have options, that women do like you. So again, back to the main theme of this, she becomes attracted when you do have girls that surround you. Something that she won't admit, but deep down, this is what she's thinking. Here's a different take on things. This is something that she might potentially uh, admit, but she doesn't really think about it too much. It's not something that I think that she thinks about in terms of what's attracting her. And that is when a man has an opinion and takes control. Again, I think some women might be able to say that and explain that, 
but I think really deep down when you're doing that, that's just attractive to her and she doesn't even know why. When you are able to have your own, your own opinion on the things that you like, that you dislike, that you believe in, that you agree with, that you disagree with on any level at all, she respects that. She respects you having an opinion and it shows that you're not just being people pleaser and agreeing with her on everything. I know I say this a lot on the channel, but it, it is something that holds a heavy weight here. And also taking control, right? Kind of similar to having an opinion. It's just knowing that you're gonna, you know something, you're going after it, you want something, you're going after it, and that's it. So if you're taking control, taking the lead, this might look like you are picking the restaurant that you guys are going to. Uh, this might look like you're making a decision on something you're doing with your life. She sees that, she is attracted to that, very masculine traits. Here's the last one. Let's talk about when you guys are getting intimate and having sex. So this is something that I don't think a lot of women admit, okay? But it is something that she wants. And I think a lot of guys have this confused too. So what it is is quick but passionate sex. So what I'm saying here is that I think a lot of guys think and a lot of women, women even say that they want, you know, slow, connected lovemaking. And I feel like maybe in their little social circles they might admit this, but they won't admit it to guys necessarily because it makes them look like a slut and they don't want to look like a slut. But they do want from time to time, maybe even more than half the time, quick, passionate, kind of rough, fun sex and not the lovemaking that you maybe see on TV and things like that. Again, this one is a little bit of a stretch. I know I think that uh, nowadays women are much more open about their sexuality and they're talking about it a little bit more and admitting some of those things, but I still think that that's not something that they're directly admitting because of what I said there. So what can you do with this information today? Well, one thing you can do is we can work on the first tip I gave you, the thing about ignoring them and being busy. So here's what I want you to do. The next time a girl text messages you, maybe it's happening right now where you just got a text from a girl or maybe she texted you like 10 minutes ago before this video started, I want you to wait three hours to respond, okay? This is gonna get you in the headspace that you don't need to respond right away. It's okay to be doing other things, it's okay to be busy, it's okay to not be at her beck and call. So I want you to do that and I want you to practice that for the next week and see what happens. What I predict is gonna happen is that she is going to go crazy and probably want you even more. So practice that, see what happens, hope this helps, and I'll see you on the next video.